What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to get into a video by Tap Out Corner. This one is top 10 scariest WWE women of all time. Hmm. So without further ado guys, let's just hop straight into this video. When you think of the scariest wrestlers of all time, names like Kane, The Undertaker, The Boogeyman, and many more come to mind. Y'all scared of Kane and Undertaker? Of terrifying men in WWE, the ladies have also they shown their darkness. They weren't scary side. at all. We ranked them, so let's find out who the top 10 scariest WWE women of all time are. Hmm. Number 10, Nicole Bass. That is one big female. Standing at six foot two and weighing 240 pounds, six Nicole foot Bass two. was one of the most physically threatening women to ever wrestle in WWE. Her extensive background in bodybuilding gave her muscles that even men would be jealous of. While Nicole Bass had a mean and rough look, I'm putting her pretty low because she never did anything that was really scary, partially due to her having a short run in WWE. Oh Even with God. all that, Nicole Bass is still one of the freakiest women to ever step in a WWE She ring. is ripped! Number 9, Woo. Mad Maxine. Taking inspiration from the movie Mad Max oh, and the like superhero Storm from X-Men, Mad Maxine debuted in WWE in 1985. Not only did her look and attire make her a scary competitor, but the fact that she stood six foot, four inches tall was another reason her opponents feared her. Combine six all of that four. and her ability to throw her adversaries around the ring, and you have one terrifying wrestler. Mad Maxine's time in WWE was pretty short, but given that she's one of the tallest female stars to ever wrestle in the company, you wonder if she could have been one of the greats had she stayed <laughs> a little longer. Well, at the very least, she's made our list as one of the scariest. I love her hair. Number eight, Bull Nakano. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, She's thick. Ooh, that's a Being thick leg. Being one of the first female Japanese wrestlers to compete in She's WWE, Japanese? Bull Nakano Ooh. had to make an impression. Come on. And she definitely did. Her size alone made her an intense competitor, but what really made her scary was her face. Her hair and face paint were frightening by themselves, but add in her dead serious eyes, and you have one freaky lady. Oh, I like Besides her. Besides just her presence, Nakano's ability to bend her opponent's bodies was another reason her opponents had to be concerned. This helped her win the WWE Women's Championship and hold it for a respectable five months, which is just another reason to fear Bull Nakano. Oh my god, a Japanese wrestler. Number seven, Karma. Female Formerly Japanese known wrestler. as Awesome Khan, Karma debuted in WWE in 2011. Promo videos depicted her ripping body parts off of dolls as she laughed maniacally. <laughs> <laughs> so Karma was already a disturbing wrestler I don't before we her. saw her. Once she debuted, Karma began destroying the female roster with no one being able to stop her. In addition to everything previously mentioned, Karma's size also made her scary, especially Ooh. at the time. She was larger and stronger than any of the divas on the roster, Ooh. and in general, one of the biggest women in WWE history. Her time in WWE came to an abrupt end, but her terrifying character definitely won't be forgotten oh, anytime what happened? soon. Number 6, Alexa Bliss. Ever since she appeared under that black veil at Extreme Rules, Alexa Bliss has been getting more and more twisted. Her new look is creepy, but what I think has made Bliss really scary is how quickly her emotions change. She'll go from being spaced out and quiet, to happy and excited, to dead serious. In fact, I had to put her on the list for this moment alone. Wow, this is delicious! What's in? <laughs> Arsenic! <laughs> <laughs> even though Alexa's twisted persona oh, okay. is still pretty new, you must be doing something right when even Randy Orton is creeped out. With that said, Alexa Bliss could easily be ranked higher <laughs> on this top 10, but her storyline is still ongoing, and we don't know what direction it will head. But if the future is anything like we've seen so far, Alexa Bliss could easily become the scariest woman WWE's ever seen. Number five, I Ariel. Yes. <laughs> that is not a costume. I dress like this every day. Just by looks alone, Ariel is already a pretty freaky wrestler especially with those fangs and the robe she wore out to the ring. The way I she love made the vampire look. by dangling from the ropes it. like a bat was just another thing that made her uneasy to watch. The card reader wasn't just creepy before her matches, but when she wrestled as well. Her blood-curdling screams and licking her palms while she beat down opponents were both pretty disturbing. Just don't have her throw any punches. 
Maybe the scariest what? thing about Ariel, though, how you... was how she acted around Kevin Thorne. They often uh, embraced each other, but not in a fun, romantic way, but more in a weird, disturbing way. I guess they are vampires. While most, if not all, the female stars <laughs> in the WWE roster at the time were made to look as beautiful as possible, Ariel wasn't afraid to get a little twisted. Number 4, Katie Lee. When I started working on this video, I didn't think Katie Lee would be this high up. On the surface, Katie Lee isn't that scary looking. Sure, she has kind of a goth look going on, but nothing too terrifying. What puts her this high on the top 10 is her relationship with her on-screen brother, Paul Burchell. Back when she debuted in 2008, Katie and Paul had a low-key incest thing going on, with them saying things like, The most beautiful man in the world, my big brother Paul. And, Every brother loves to make his little sister happy. To be fair, it was never heavily implied, but nonetheless, the fact that I'm even talking uh, about a WWE wrestler and incest okay. is messed up. While the incest thing wasn't directly stated, Katie's obsession with watching others in pain was made perfectly clear. All that's ever made me happy is to watch my brother Paul inflict pain upon others. If this isn't the beginning of a horror movie <laughs> villain, I don't know what is. Number okay. three, Mickey James. Well, today, mm. Mickey James is pretty level headed. She wasn't always this way. When James debuted in 2005, she made it clear how obsessed she was with Trish Stratus. I mean, I idolize you. I love you, Trish. Oh, I mean, thanks. like, I want to be just like oh, you. That's thanks. awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Every week, the obsession got creepier and creepier, with Mickey James forcing herself onto both Stratus as well as Trish's boyfriend. If that wasn't strange enough, after she became a full-blown heel, Mickey James kidnapped Ashley Massaro and gave her as a gift to Trish Stratus. There's plenty of other examples, but you get the picture. I think what made this version of Mickey James so scary was how real it felt. Mickey James didn't dress in weird clothes or wear creepy face paint. She was just a normal person, but with some deep psychological issues. Schizo. Hearing stories of how insane some wrestling fans are only makes Mickey James' obsession with Trish even scarier. James would be ranked even higher, but the obsessed fangirl character only lasted about a year, and she's better known today for being an awesome in-ring competitor. However, no matter where her career goes, Mickey James <laughs> will still be one of the scariest women to ever appear in WWE. Okay, yeah, that Number is two, creepy. Number two, Sherry yeah. Martel. There's a reason she got the nickname Scary Sherry. In addition to her bizarre makeup and wardrobe choices, I like Sherry I heard was that just name insane, before. both inside and outside the ring. Combining her shrieking voice with her outbursts made her both the center of attention and terrifying oh, I love at the these same time. Throwback wrestlers. Sherry! You truly are Even though she was mainly a manager in WWE, Sherry didn't just talk. Martel would often get physical, and she could deliver some pretty vicious beatdowns. Because of these attributes, and many more, Sherry will be remembered forever, even in our nightmares. <laughs> and number one, Luna Vachon. Luna makes it into this top 10 just on her looks. Her half-shaved hair and the blood vessels on the left side of her face make her the scariest looking female wrestler of all time. Not only did Luna have a terrifying look, but her voice was pure nightmare fuel. I will be the goddess of the squared circle. That might be the scariest thing the cigarettes thing about down, Luna. sis. When she returned to the WWE during the Attitude Era, Luna's alliances with Goldust and later Gangrel only made her that much more terrifying. Not only was Luna scary outside of the ring, but in it as well. Her strength and athleticism allowed her to manhandle her opponents, and, as her appearance would suggest, Luna was ruthless. Through her look, in ring ability, and that dreadful voice, Luna Vachon is our pick for scariest WWE woman of all time. I love it! Shout out yes. and thank you to Caesar Cardenas. For I love the left. like aesthetic of like 80s wrestling and shit. You know, the theatrics. It was so good. Like the acting was so fucking good. And I didn't know there, that there were so many like female wrestlers from way back. I've never gotten into none of these wrestlers from before. Some of the newer ones or the more um the more modern female wrestlers. I don't really I really don't know much about. Only female wrestler I know is China RIP. But yeah, this is so dope. I did not know that there were so many female wrestlers. 
heck fan and I love the aesthetic. I love the dramatics. I just love the like the theatrics of it all. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.